on Porter Pack. Um, just dropping in to say that I finally put a little extra work in at work <laughs> just to get this um, vacuum cleaner that I've been wanting for a while. Uh, of course, you guys, I, I know you guys probably was like a vacuum cleaner, but trust me, um, from coming from a $50 vacuum cleaner that just about did the job to kind of somewhat expensive vacuum cleaner. Um, what they always say, if you work hard, play hard. So this is something I've been wanting for a while. So I decided to share with you guys um, to give you guys an inside look on exactly what's up with the vacuum cleaner. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Excuse me, that's my other phone. Uh, so this is the vacuum cleaner that I just picked up. Um, so I will be doing an unboxing uh, with my wife and we'll definitely be putting this guy to a, to a test. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, um, we got a pretty big size house. So this vacuum cleaner, we don't have a lot of rugs, but this, this vacuum cleaner would do the job great. It's very uh, handy for getting into, you know, the little rough spots and it's wireless. So that's great. Got a digital screen on there. Um, the battery life, um, not really sure how great it is. I did pick this up from Walmart. So shout out to Walmart, my local Walmart. Um, if you guys are interested in this particular brand, which is T Echo, if I'm pronouncing that right, <laughs> it's a smart stick vacuum. Uh, we will have a link in the description to um, where you can probably find this at. If it's not at you guys' local Walmart, you can definitely find it at um, online. So, yeah. Peace. Yo, back at it again, Porter Pack. Um, so, remember earlier I told you guys that I was most definitely going to do an unboxing of this vacuum cleaner. So, so, I want you guys not to laugh at me. So I had this, my old vacuum cleaner for quite some time, let's say two, three years. So this vacuum cleaner, I always used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But of course you guys saw the, the smart vacuum. Sorry for the delay, I'm a little tired. <laughs> but yeah, you saw the smart vacuum earlier. So basically, I'm just gonna give you a clip of what my old vacuum cleaner looks like and the reason why we don't most definitely needed an upgrade. So here is what my old vacuum cleaner looks like. So yeah, excuse the dirt, but hey, it's a vacuum cleaner. So yeah, so many people probably bought this at that vacuum cleaner from Walmart. And it's very budget friendly. It's only 50, 60 bucks. Especially, especially it's a great deal, but um, that's for someone that has more carpet in their home versus, um, as you see here, we don't have a lot of carpet. Of course, I'm in the kitchen, but basically this is an older model house. So the, the house has the original floor still in the home. In the home so that is what you're looking at right there is almost over 100 year old flooring and trust me it is beautiful if you're into antique wood so yeah so we're gonna bust this box open
right, you guys, we are back at it again. So this is the 10 Echo review. So uh, this is the assembly a portion of this video. And you guys, you know, basically, if all my men out there, we do not, we do not read instructions. It's basically, you see it, you do it. All right, so this is the wall mounting device uh, that I was speaking about earlier. Very simple. All you do is take the little Phillips screw that's in the box. If you got a level, leveler, you can also use that to get it put basically great on your wall. These different devices here actually attaches directly into the vacuum, which is here. So just snap in place like so. And then you just use the trigger. And it also comes with a digital reader here. So. so this will be basically another attachment. You see that there. Full-blown attachment here. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Connect that there. And then this is the base connection. So this is what it looks like when it's fully assembled and ready to go. All right, you guys, so I want you guys to follow me and we're gonna actually put this baby to the test. So this is the end review of the video about the vacuum cleaner. So yeah, the vacuum cleaner is actually, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. The, the vacuum cleaner is great. I mean, literally the sucking power and it honestly it feels like it has a sensor inside the vacuum cleaner where if it feels like there is a excess extra excess amount of dirt on your carpet it actually seems like it sucks harder because i tested it out on the living room carpet versus the den where you saw the black carpet that's where my office slash den is located um the, my little area of the house so yeah so that carpet i recently vacuumed with our old vacuum cleaner that you saw earlier in the video so that it wasn't a lot of dirt on there, but I also noticed, like I showed you earlier, that it, we have original hardware floors in this home. Sorry about that. We actually have original hardware floors in this home. So it actually works great on hardware floors as well, but do not use liquid at all. So that's mainly the, the downside on the vacuum. Um, it might mess up the electrical components. So just in case you have any liquids on your floor, make sure you do not run over that 
portion with the vacuum cleaner. And if you accidentally do it, do like I did, hey, get a three year warranty. Um, the warranty ran me maybe 24 bucks at Walmart. So yeah, it's actually a great vacuum. It's worth the money. So yeah, so if I were you guys, if you were looking for a vacuum, kind of like the stick vacuum that we purchased, a um, little more modern, keep uh, less space in your home. Uh, Cause with the old model vacuum, we had to place it in a corner somewhere or in the basement, which I mean, really, who really want to keep going up and down stairs in a basement just to get to sweep your floor. Um, so all my Dyson fans and all these high brand vacuum owners, hey, I'm not disrespecting you guys or not even downplaying their brand, but the brand that I bought from Walmart, um, it was in my budget and trust me, it was basically a great, great vacuum. Um, not sure how long it's going to last, but uh, like I said before, I do believe in getting warranties. So in any electronics that you might see here on that we might purchase, it will come with a warranty because sometimes, hey, accidents happen and I spend anything over a hundred bucks. It's an investment. So, hey, why not opt out to get, spend a little extra coin on the warranty. So if you like this video, and you want to see more reviews. And if you haven't checked out the mixed towel um, video, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe on though on that video. It's a great video. And if you're looking for picture frames where you want something like that, basically low cost, and also you don't have to spend an extra lot of money on damaging your walls. Cause like we are in this home, we are renting, so just kind of check out that video and hey we definitely appreciate you guys for everything you are doing for us so please comment like and subscribe to be here so thank you and you guys have a great day peace